In this video, I'm going to show you how to back up and save your program and sensor settings. I'll show you how to transfer or upload that backup file into your IV3. And I'll also show you how to easily copy programs into another program slot if you want to make changes or have multiple copies. So let's start with a batch backup. First, you're going to go to the file button in the upper left corner. And you'll see it gives you options for the batch backup, individual program backup, and transferring. A batch backup is going to save all of the current programs on your IV3 in one single file, so all 32 programs. If you go ahead and hit batch backup, it'll then ask you if you want to save the running image history with it. You can either check or uncheck this box. You can select if you want to save all images or just the no good images. And you can also tell it how many to save between 20, 50, or 100. In this example, I am going to uncheck this box and just have to hit go. And it will then ask you where on your computer you want to save this file. So I'll rename this batch backup example. Go ahead and hit save. So this will take just a minute. And now it is complete. So you can see I have a few different, I have two different programs in this IB3 right now. But let's say that these programs accidentally get deleted. So I will initialize these two. Or maybe they have changes made to them that you want to just kind of start over with your backup file. So as you can see now, I have no programs on my IB3. So now I'm going to show you how to transfer in that backup file that we just saved. So I'm gonna go back to my file, and now I want to transfer or upload my batch backup. It will just tell me that the specified setting data is going to be sent to the sensor. I want to proceed. And now it's prompting me to select a backup file. I'm going to select this batch backup that we just saved. And then it will show me a little preview of the programs. It says there's two programs in this file. And it gives me the option to send the settings below. And these are just the IO and network settings of the sensor. So if you are sending this backup file to the same IV, you could select these settings. If you are replacing an IV3, if maybe it was you know, damaged and you have a brand new setup, you could send the same settings to that camera. Um, but I'm just going to uncheck this for now and keep it as is. So I will go ahead and hit transfer. And again, it'll take just a moment. and data is transferred. So now you can see those programs that I just had but were deleted are now back on my IV3. So that is how you both save and upload a batch backup file. Now let's talk about the individual program backup. So I'm going to go back to file and you might have seen it, but in my folder, I had an individual program backup as well. So now I want to show you how I would upload that single program to my current IV3. I'm going to go to transfer individual backup. And it's going to let me browse for where that program is saved. So here I have my individual program backup, hit open. And now it's going to let me choose which program I want to send this to. So I'm just going to send it to program 002, that is empty. Hit OK. And once that is completed, it'll ask if I want to switch to the transferred program. Go ahead and say yes. 
And you can see now I have three programs on my IB3. The other function I wanted to show was how to easily copy a program from one program slot to another. For example, let's say I have this program that I want to make changes to, to test out maybe for better stability, but I don't want to lose this current program. One thing I can do is go to the details button and select my program and simply hit the copy button. Now I can tell which program I want to copy and where I want to send it. In this case, I'll send it to program five, that's an empty slot, and I'll hit okay. This will take just a minute to copy it over. And you can see now I have the same program in both my program zero and in my program five slot. I can now go to this program and make whatever changes, maybe adjusting the window, um, if I need to teach additional parts, et cetera, without losing my original program settings. So that can be a handy function for easily copying programs. I hope this video helped explain how to save your settings, save your programs, how to transfer them back into the IV3, and how to use the copy function. But if you have additional questions, feel free to reach out to our tech team at 888 Kients Option 2 for tech support. Thanks and have a great day.